Hey, welcome back to the channel. We have Monopoly Fortnite currently at, is at Ollie's for five bucks, I think. I think I got it at ten uh, quite a while ago. So some character tokens here, the Fortnite. Uh, use loot chest items, action die to battle your opponents. All right, so it's probably going to play a little bit different than your standard Fortnite. I'm going to open it up here, check it out. <laughs> that's pretty cool so you know you know the game you have your ammo box here you have your, your loot chest what's this it's just Fortnite art looks like yep board what's different about Monopoly Fortnite the last player standing wins in this game so you have health points uh, drop from the battle bus, action dice, storm approaches, captures, traps. Uh, I'm kind of interested in playing this actually. I know regular Monopoly, what we do, we put a time limit on it whenever we play, like an hour and a half. And whoever's got the most money at the end of a regular Monopoly game, uh, at the end of the hour and a half, that, that's how we play it. So they win at the end of the time. Uh, all right, so we got a number of dice here. Nice bright board on here. It looks like you have minus ones, plus ones. And these are our health tokens, it looks like. And dice. Okay, got them all. So you have a standard six sided and a special dice here that has like a target on it, whatever that is. A build, <coughs> it looks like. And oh, health. Build. Not sure what that is. All right, these are pretty decent quality plastic tokens. Form cards. This is a blue chest. Storm. Pay of the bank. <coughs> Neo tilted. When another player lands on this location, they must pay 4 HP to the bank. Let's see a treasure chest here. Uh, legendary item. Target player pays 4 HP to the bank when you roll a target. I don't know if that's ongoing. I'm sure it's a one shot. So you have different cards here. So like a light storm, a heavy storm, and your loot, it sounds like. Fortnite characters here. Not overly detailed, but still pretty cool. And a variety of emote poses. You can tell uh, is that the like lobster guy? Here's the cat. See what else we got here. It's the knight. Every time a player passes go, they must draw a storm card. The card will tell you which board space you must permanently cover with a storm. Oh, okay. Action dice. What do walls do? When you reach a space with a wall, no matter who places it there, you must end your movement there and carry out the action on the space, then remove the wall. Put it in the wall card pile. Hmm. You run out of HP. As soon as you lose your last HP, you're out of the game. Take your character off the board, place any loot chest items you have onto the space where you lost your last HP. The next person to pass their landing space picks them all up. Okay. The game ends when only one player is left standing. Yeah, this seems like a, a more fun version of, of Monopoly, just by kind of just checking it out in an overview type manner. 
what HP do you start with? That's the question here. Let me see. Each player takes 15 uh, health points. Okay. You never have more than 15 HP. If you have 15 HP on any action requires you to collect more, do not collect any. Okay. Punch out the wall cards. Fold them. Okay, so they're each a wall card, so you... For me, I thought it was like one big thing. All right, so you, these are all the wall cards. They're a stack. So you have an additional stack of cards. So you roll a wall. And a three, you go one, two, three, and you put a wall here. But a bit of an overview. So it seems pretty fun. You're gonna roll your dice. Yep. Did I explain? This is heal HP. Did I explain that? Did I skip that? Oh yeah, I did skip it. <laughs> when you roll the bandages, collect two HP from the bank. All right, let's roll something else. So we got a target. Um, we're going this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this has a minus one on it, so I would lose one. Another person would go. We're going to roll six. So I'm guessing he would lose one. And I rolled this. They're technically in my line of sight, so I'm guessing they would lose HP. Take your HP, go back to the bank, so on and so on. And then once you go all the way around, you're back on go. It's going to reveal a storm card. So okay. Place this card face down on the jail space. Players may not may still be sent to jail, but no longer need to pay a roll of six to get out. All right. These aren't super detrimental. How about this one? Uh, take the location card for the highest unclaimed property and place that location card storm up on its space. Hmm. So when does these flip? When they're playing as a location, you must pay for HP. He chooses a bank. Huh. <coughs> so that's to flip up, I guess. Because they're all going to be... Yeah. They're going to be pay... Two of it's taken by the storm. Bouncer, move any any player up to four spaces forward or backwards. He must complete the action of the space where they landed. So it's up to four. So you can screw somebody over and send them back to here. So they lose four and Neo tilted. Stuff like that. But I kind of want to play this version of Monopoly. Seems a lot more fun and uh, you know, like a take that kind of thing versus just trading properties, building hotels, which is fun for a little while, but we all know Monopoly gets old very quickly. So I don't know how long this plays. It sounds like it doesn't play quite as long because every time you pass go, you're going to build a storm. You only have 15 HP. Players are attacking. So the more players, it says up to seven players. So I'm sure a seven player game goes pretty quick. But the problem probably is, if you have seven players, the people that get out early, and it gets down to two to four players, it's going to be boring for those players to sit around. So it's probably best two to four players, I would think. Maybe five. I don't know. But I think that might be an issue with the game if you have people just sitting around while you, you guys just keep going. Because you could very well just roll ones, and you could keep healing, and that could be problematic, I think. So if you keep rolling, like... A one and like you get a plus one and you healed and you're back to full health you're just gonna keep on doing that and it's gonna be it's gonna take forever so uh, time limit may still be needed I mean the storm's gonna be coming out but the dice are always a factor so that could be an issue I see but I do like the idea of like the attacking and line of sight and if you're in a corner you can attack either way so if someone's here or here, and you're here, you can attack. If you roll if you roll your crossfires, and you can modify it. If you have something to modify it to do more damage, that's cool. Uh, the wall building, that may also slow things down. And thanks for watching, Jablar. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe. Thanks.